Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, welcome. My name is Victoria and this is Time and Tenderness. Well guys, you might be wondering where the heck am I? And I am in my own bedroom, our master bedroom in our house. We decided to do some home improvement projects. We pulled up the carpeting in the bedrooms because I don't like carpeting. Um, and we put down laminate flooring that matches the rest of the flooring in our home. And we also decided to kind of just revamp our entire master bedroom. We kind of moved in three years ago. We never painted, we just put our furniture in and I never got around to really properly decorating our master bedroom. So I figured it was time. So I wanted to repaint our room and yesterday I started. And if you can't tell, the walls are very pink and it is not at all what I wanted. So uh, while I have time today, my husband had to go to work, leaving me to paint, which is totally fine. I love painting. I decided um, to just repaint everything. So let me tell you what happened yesterday. So yesterday we woke up, we decided we were gonna finish the floors. While we had most of the furniture out of the room, we were going to paint. And we decided that we wanted to do a cream color that had a hint, a hint of pink undertone. So I went to Sherman Williams and I picked out a color when in the store it looked great. And in the can it looked great, but when it dried over the paint that is already in our room, it turned bright Barbie doll dream house pink. So I am very ashamed that it took me five hours to realize that the color was not changing because I painted almost two whole walls and I did all the edges of pretty much the entire room. Ugh, I was so upset yesterday, I was crying, but I got new paint today and we're gonna go ahead and redo everything and I'm gonna take you along with me and hopefully this can be a whole entire video dedicated to us redoing the master bedroom. So come along and follow me and watch me do some painting and listen to some awesome music. Days without water along the sun so grown. We cross over borders get where we are and it's all for you it's all for you it's all for you it's all for you I did it all for you it's all for you it's all for you it's all for you nights without sleep It ain't enough for two And it's all for you It's all for you It's all for you Okay, so I'm doing all the edges right now in the room. I'm not gonna make you guys endure all of that, but let me show you so far what I've done. So I did around the door frame to the bathroom, up this corner down to that window all along the edges here up the closet if the camera will focus and around these support posts if the camera would focus <laughs> um, this is where we hang our mirror in our bedroom so that'll go there and then i just have to continue all throughout and cover up all the pink i did yesterday that i thought looked good and then we decided against it. So just in case you're wondering, we are going with a color called Antique Rose. Let me show you. Antique Rose, it's actually from the Chip and Joanna Gaines, the Magnolia paint collection, but I had them color match it to a Benjamin Moore paint, Clark and Kensington. Um, so that's the color we're going with. And this is it, it's very faint, but it has that pink undertone I was going for, but this one was much more successful for obvious reasons. So I'm gonna keep going and I will update you guys. I will update you guys. Ooh, hopefully this will work. <laughs> Focus, I don't know why my camera's not focusing lately. 
I will update you guys as I keep going along. But let me show you the floors too and the chaos that I have been living in. So we updated it, we redid the floors, a little dirty right now. So this is our bedroom and I'll try and insert clips of what my room looked, what our room looked like before. This is the guest bedroom right now with all this junk in it and we already did these floors and then this is the office that still has the carpeting and my wardrobes in here. And this is the carpeting that we are replacing. So let me keep on going. Okay, so I just finished doing most of the edges. The only wall I haven't done is this wall that the bed is against because I need my husband to help me move the bed and he'll be home this afternoon from work. So I am gonna start rolling all the other walls that I can. So all the edges are done. I got fans blowing in here to keep the air circulating. And I'm not gonna do, probably gonna do this wall last and wait till my husband gets home because I made a mistake down there taking off something that we had attached to the wall for the outlet. I have, so like I mentioned before, I have my Ikea wardrobes that are on this wall and behind the Ikea wardrobes I have LED lights to add more lighting to the room and the little adapter was on that wall down there and I pulled it off and it took off the paper from the drywall so I made that mistake. So now I'm gonna go ahead and start rolling paint on. It's all for you. It's all for you. It's all for you. start going this way probably with the second coat that way I can do that wall and then we have this wall here and then this wall where the bed is that I still need to do the edges and all that but I'm really not even in the frame I'm sorry I'm really excited with how this is turning out the color is way much better than that disgusting pink that I made a huge huge disastrous mistake with but this is much better a lot muter it's a lot calmer and it's a lot brighter which one of the reasons why we wanted to repaint the room was because this room gets very dark in the summertime believe it or not because the trees our house butts up to the woods and once the trees get all their leaves kind of gets really dark in here so we wanted to add a lighter paint color with a the paint that was currently on the walls was a flat paint so it kind of absorbed all the light but this is a satin finish so it's a little bit reflective so it'll help reflect the light a little bit more and I'm really pleased with how this is turning out and I'm going to show you guys how I'm doing the second coat so that you can really see the color pull through. Hey guys, it is, I've lost track of how many days we've been doing this project, but for you guys, it is day two. So yesterday I just finished painting, um, not entirely done. I'll show you in a second, but the reason why I abruptly stopped filming was because the battery died on my camera. I need to get a second battery for this camera desperately, but pretty much it was the same thing as I was doing um, yesterday was just painting. I ended up finishing this wall. So this wall is completely done but we ran out of paint for this wall. So my husband, after work, is going to get the paint for that wall. And like I had mentioned yesterday, I needed help moving the bed, so I had to wait for him to get home. Him and I tackled this wall together, and he started on this wall, but we need to get more paint. So I'm gonna finish up. I started doing a little bit of finishing work by adding the plate covers back on to the outlets and the light switches 
and I'm gonna rehang. I got some new curtains for this room, so I'm gonna hang some curtains and I will show you what I'm doing there. And I'm gonna go out and get a new picture for above the bed. So I'm gonna go see if Walmart has frames that I like, and if so, I will be using museumqualityart.com to get some new artwork for above the bed. the new curtains that I got before we had these really dark blackout curtains which are great when my husband is working night shift but now that he is working from home mostly because of the virus um, we don't really need blackout curtains because he's not on shift work right now so I got these really nice sheer curtains I like the color and I feel like it's gonna let a whole lot more light into the room which is my biggest complaint about our master bedroom is that I just feel like it's never bright enough in here so Let's go ahead and put these up. Okay, so I am getting ready to head out to the store. I ordered some artwork from a website called museumqualityart.com. I've ordered artwork from them before. I highly recommend them. I will walk you guys through the whole process of what I do to get artwork artwork from them and I will leave information in the description down below on how you can get artwork including a coupon code for you guys because I highly recommend them. I've gotten this art from them and I've gotten a few other pieces, I can't exactly remember which one, but the artwork I am so excited to put up on our bed. I'm going to go to Walmart and get two new frames because um, I'm trying to go with a different kind of color scheme now as you can tell um, and then I'm gonna head over and get that artwork printed out so what's great about museum quality art is that you order it online it's really high quality art that you would normally find in a museum and it's at really great prices and you just take it to your local office depot or you send it to a printing place and they print it out at whatever size you need so let's go ahead and do that so we are now at Walmart yay I wish there was a Target near me, but there is no Target, and this is as good as it's going to get. But we're going to go in here, and I'm going to be looking for two picture frames. I already checked online because sometimes this Walmart is hit or miss, um, and they should have the picture frames I'm looking for online, but let's see if they're actually there. So I've got my mask. I dropped my phone. Let's go. I'm still rocking my Star Wars mask, but... I went in, I got two picture frames. They didn't have the exact ones I wanted online. They said they had these brass picture frames, but of course they weren't there. And I, so I just got black picture frames instead, 16 by 20s. Um, and now I'm gonna go to Office Depot and hopefully get these pictures printed. So I just got home. Bad news about the art. The Office Depot was really swamped with orders today. Um, so I won't be able to pick up my pictures until later this evening. So hopefully I can make a dash out to the store again and pick them up. But for right now, I'm just gonna go home and wait for my husband to get home with more paint so we can finish up the room. Maybe do a little tidying up. Probably won't show you that because that's not what this video is about. And when I go get the art, I will show you everything. So while I was at Walmart, I got these hooks for the curtains so that I can hook them back. And I found this. And normally this is not the type of work I do, but we're gonna see how this goes, so. dog park it is now late in the evening it's about 5 30 and I went these are the frames that I got and I got the pictures after taking my little to the dog park I went to office depot and picked up the pictures so let's see how they look I've already seen them but you guys haven't seen them so this is the first one I got it's called three roses and then this is the second one I got I forget what this one is called but aren't they so pretty 
I love all the artwork that museumqualityart.com has. They have the best assortment and everything comes out so high quality and you can ha have these sent to be printed on anything. So if you wanted to get this printed on a canvas, you could, um, anything. Once you download, it, you just buy the download and then you have the download. So I'm gonna go ahead and put these in these frames and then hopefully when my husband gets home, we can hang them. I put the pictures over here for you guys because there's kind of a glare on the glass but this is what they look like and they will be going above the bed as soon as my husband gets home to hang them but yeah they'll be going above here don't mind Layla she's she just came home from the dog park and she's tired but they'll be going right above our bed there but yeah that's what they look like and I highly recommend museum quality art okay so it is now day three of this never ending project. I still have to hang those photos. They're over there still. And we still have to finish painting this wall. And it's dark out. I went grocery shopping today and did laundry and we did other house things and just haven't gotten back in here. Such is life. So we are gonna bang this out tonight, move my wardrobe and closet back into place and call it the end of a project. Lights flash in the dark I know you're coming back Aiming at my heart And these things never come for me easily, no But now I think I'm ready I think I'm ready, ready The emotions repeating Though it's been so long I know what you're thinking I know Well guys, this is the end result. I am so happy you guys came with me on this journey. Don't forget to hit like and subscribe. Follow me on Instagram. Leave me a comment in the comments down below. And don't forget to check out Museum Quality Art and use my special coupon code so that you can get some amazing artwork for your home. I'll see you next time.